Hi, everyone. I just thought I'd come on and do September's community reading. Uh, I've laid out seven piles of cards, um, three different decks, the Angels of Abundance, Mary, Oh, I was supposed to use Mary. Wait a minute. I didn't use it. Let me just add that, these seven cards here. But in the meantime, um, I have Archangel Michael. And you know what? Scratch that. I did do Mary. So, Mary, Angels of Abundance, and Archangel Michael. Those are our three. I know what I'm doing. I just didn't think I did. <laughs> so, um, there's a seven car spread, also known as a horseshoe spread. That's what we're doing. Um, and the first cards are beautiful. First position is the near past. So what we have here, very interesting. We have um, new beginnings and a fresh start. Oh my gosh, you're a little glaring, but it's pretty. Look at that. Uh, so it's about, you know, new opportunities and, and support coming. Um, there have been some vows of poverty some of us have taken. <laughs> it's time to let go of that. And um, uh, it says, dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in this lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. And that makes sense that the next card is mercy. And it says, I am kind and thoughtful toward myself and others. So, you know, this is something that is the near past. So it looks like it's had a healing. And this is the present. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, we have eternal love. And I think that's just remembering that our angels love us and that we are loved. It's, we don't have to do anything. We are loved. And it says, um, you are surrounded by love and you can feel safe, receive and express love easily. Um, focusing on your priorities. So this is the present. Focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them time and attention they deserve and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. And the next card is just beautiful. Joy. So focusing on your priorities, your divine plan, what you're really doing here, the core of what you're here to do is going to give you uh, that feeling uh, uh, of calm and peace. All is right with the world. And the joy, by enjoying this moment, I am giving thanks to God for my life, our divine source. So you'll feel that peace and joy. So you, these are beautiful three cards for the present. Eternal love, 
uh, focusing on your priorities and joy. So that's beautiful for September. And for the near future, oh, this is nice. Believe and trust. Believe and trust. So it's an Archangel Michael card saying, replace your fear with faith and trust. Let me, you say to yourself, let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. That's what Archangel Michael is telling you. Release resentments about money. Releasing resentments about money. And yes, money, the money system in the world can seem upset, upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool that you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you attract support mm -hmm and golden opportunities. And the third card is mother. So I open my heart to my mother's hu humanness and her divinity. So believe and trust, release resentments about many, uh, opens the flows. And opening your heart to the divine feminine uh, and appreciating the divinity of the divine feminine is in the near future. And the cards for us, for um, what re represent us, are oh goodness it's time to leave this unhealthy situation so this could be a job that you're you know not doing well in it could be you know friendships it could be anything any situation where um you haven't been doing well in and it's about healing parts of yourself that allow you to receive um, the courage to see your own worth. And so that you will put yourself in a situation where you're appreciated. And releasing jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm it. Let people's successes inspire you rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. And then have patience. Patience in and trust in divine timing. So all things will come in divine timing. So you can leave a situation, say you're in a situation that's just you're there for the, because it's a paycheck and you're afraid to leave it. Um, think about yourself and what you can do to get yourself in a better situation. And no matter how much you feel, maybe you're envious of someone else in the, that particular workplace or someone else who's able to manifest abundance, just be patient because all things will come, all things will come to you. Um, so just hang in there. False evidence for appearing real. Just remember that. Okay, and the next pile of cards is um, the outside influences. So we've got, oh, this is nice. You're on the right path. The angels are telling you you're on the right path. Uh, 
So you've gotten signs and you're going down the right road. This is the outside influence. So you're getting a lot of help, but no more complaining. Uh, complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spirituality. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom with your increased confidence and assertiveness. Watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. So remember your powerful being and can manifest everything you need and take action. Action today uh, related to the priorities that I have previously put off. And that will bring you a lot of positive move movement forward. And the next pile of cards is your stumbling blocks or obstacles. Oh gosh, <laughs> good cards. Romance angels are helping you. Okay, so it looks like you're going to be in a situation where you're going to get help. If, if you're married or you are not in a relationship, you will Looks like someone will be coming for you. If you are married, you're going to have more um, connection with your spouse or your significant other. Uh, and obstacles are lifted. Blocks are lifted. So this is the obstacle pile. So the obstacles are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy Shifts have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress forward. Movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude and ensure that your flow of abundance continues. And devotion. As I fully commit to my values, relationships, and God, I clear about I am clear about what to do next. So these are beautiful cards. Okay. And the final outcome or the energies, the end of the overall picture of the month. Have confidence. Uh, ever give it all up to divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Um, allow yourself to feel confident, peaceful about yourself in all ways. Remember cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours, and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compare or compete, rather. As there's an abundance for all, you have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnership, you can accomplish anything. And the last one is signs. I watch for, for notice and trust the signs that heaven continually sends. So for September, have your confidence, stand in your own power and believe in yourself and watch the signs that are coming to show you where you're going, how you're headed in this timing in September, which can be challenging but it looks like some beautiful cards for our September for this community so it's looking pretty good uh, so that's it I just wanted to pop on and let you know about September um, I see some beautiful energies there it looks like we all have to let go of things whether it's being 
looking at someone else who's doing better or it doesn't matter. It's not you. Let it go and release all that because the power and beauty are within you. You have it all, everything that you need. And never compare yourself to someone else. You are a unique individual and should never be compared. So believe in yourself, have confidence, and uh, I'll see you next month for October. I can't believe the year's gone by so fast, but anyway, it's been fun, and um, see you later. Bye.